Well, welcome. And one of the fantastically wonderful things we always get to discuss that's very exciting around the world is the Academy Awards. Who's going to win the Oscar? And so you've seen our previews of what we thought were good before and afters. And today we're going to be celebrating the people who won. And what I'd like you to do, I know it gets very exciting when you look at something that's about being dressed up. We always look and say, okay, is this an amazing gown? But the question is, we want to look at the first, the person first and then make sure that the gown does them justice. So it's in many ways the other way around. And oft oftentimes for the Academy Awards, we're very designer oriented. And in my work, we're very essence oriented. So it's really about the gown really um, embellishing and enhancing, uh, dramatizing the personality. So I wanted to also talk about the outfit that I'm wearing. This is a dress that's by Cordelia. It's a two-piece outfit, and the jewelry is from India. I went to India actually the first time in 1968, and this was from that trip. And then the belt I've had many, many years. And you'll notice that it picks up the silver of my hair, and I'm wearing my famous black and red. This is what we call a scarlet red. This red is also worn by springs. Remember, I'm a winter with a palette from, I draw from all seasons in terms of my colors. And you'll notice my new haircut. I have really enjoyed the bangs. Um, what was fun about this is I took a picture to my hair designer. And you know how you want to look like something? Well, thank goodness the hair was white on the person that I asked about. And what was fun, the first thing I said is, do I have the texture and the visual weight in my hair to carry this hairstyle? And because I have a small face, I was a little bit concerned about the bangs. So I feel it's been a huge success. I've had lots of rave reviews. So let us know what you think of it. But I've really enjoyed it. And it's a, a great way for a winter to be just a little bit more casual. You'll notice before my hair was all one length. So anyway, enough about me. Let's proceed to the event and uh, really celebrate the people who've won. As we know, the Academy Awards, the movie industry is really about a language of love and success and entertainment that really fills all of the universe. And one of the things, it's, it's about telling a story and looking at the story and looking at how we wanna create our own personal story. And so of course, what we wear is part of that. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you the first picture. So we're going to be looking at Meryl Streep, and of course she's world famous for her gift of acting. And what I found unusual is that she appears here in black and white. And uh, when I began my career, people would say, well, I know you didn't give me black, but I can wear black away from my face, can't I? And you'll see here that it creates a lot of visual weight that goes uh, counter to her. And although the softer silhouette is in, it's a little bit tricky to wear that in front of a camera. I think you have to be extremely, extremely thin to wear something like this. So I don't think it's particularly enhancing for our precious Meryl Streep. Um, on the second uh, picture, we're gonna be looking at, who do we have here? Uh, Kate Blanchett, who is the winner. And one of the things I love about this is I think her hair is beautifully styled for her face. And the gown is fantastic. One of the things about wearing gold is it needed to be lightweight, visually lightweight for her. And I thought the hairstyle was a lovely contrast to the complexity of the gown. I think if they had tried to do a more complex hairdo, it would have competed with the gown. And in her case, it's a, a, just a lovely expression. And this gold, it's actually a combination of her hair and her skin tone. And we have, next one, we have our beautiful Sandra Bullock. This one, I thought she just got an A+. The design line of her hair picks up the cascading of the gown. She's wearing the mermaid or the inverted triangle, which is really lovely. And she has a muscular body, and so the flow of the gown really worked for her body type. So again, we're going to give her an A+. And I thought the color was particularly a standout for her. Um, next on Amy Adams is the navy, and this again is that beautiful inverted triangle silhouette. Uh, it's almost a bustier effect on top with the beautiful uh, kind of a slim line on the bottom, 
What I liked about this is I felt the amount of fabric did not overwhelm her. And I love the way that she did a very, very simple hairdo that almost is the design of the hairstyle uh, almost mirrors the neckline of the dress. And of course we have our Jennifer Lawrence. I love it when we all wear the right red and she's wearing a scarlet similar to mine, but hers actually has a little bit more coral. And I feel that the, the detail in the back, which we see, mirrors the design of her hair. But I think one of the things you want to look at when you are getting dressed for an event is, is it celebratory? And she's wearing her red, which is the color of celebration and emotional persuasion. And now on Julia, it, it's, it's interesting to try to wear black uh, on an occasion for the Academy Awards. To me, that's one of the most important parts of your life. And those of us who've had our colors done know what our high presence color is. In my case, my high presence color or power color or dramatic color is turquoise. And I encourage you when you're gonna be center stage to wear something other than black. So in this gown, what happens is she's the inverted triangle. So when you carry your weight in the middle, that is not what we wanna emphasize. We wanna emphasize the broader shoulder and a narrower hip. So when you wear a peplum like this, uh, it creates too much fullness at her waist. So we would encourage her next time to wear the inverted triangle silhouette instead of the hourglass and to wear a beautiful, fantastically colorful uh, choice of hue that would really express her, her personality. And next we have uh, Lupita, who is the winner. And this one, I feel the pastel wasn't really strong enough. She has very, very rich coloring. I do believe she is a vital spring. And we've seen her before in all the beautiful orange and tangerines and ambers. And I feel this, um, the gown didn't do her justice. It was too soft a color and too soft a silhouette. And I felt she, again, should have been in the inverted triangle. So, and finally we have on, is it Sally Hawkins? Um, again, an, a fantastically beautiful gown. I mean, this one should be in a museum, it's so beautiful. But you can see with her coloring, which is wonderfully rich and dark, that the lace does not really enhance her. It doesn't really even pick up her skin tone. So I would have put her in a very deep, deep shade of kind of a, a burnished rose to pick up her skin tone. Um, I think the lace is beautiful. I love the visual weight for her. I think it picks up the visual weight of her skin, but I felt she's more powerful than the outfit. And at a moment like this in life, you really want the outfit to be a full expression of you. So I wanna thank you for joining me. Um, I invite you to go to your closet and look at what makes you the bell of the ball in your life and really encourage you to be proactive. You know, I do a lot of shopping for people and one of the things when you're, you're buying a gown, you should buy it at any moment that it works. Um, not wait for the last moment for the event to be happening and you not be prepared. And so the gown that I have on is something that I've had for many, many years, but it's really timeless for me because it's in my romantic color and it is in my silhouette. So I want to thank you for joining me and we'll be talking together soon.